Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because um, as you probably know I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class which is the beginner tarot class, tar which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the 12 hours of content lectures which are including uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all, you also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, Not it's not free, it is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos, oh my god, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, Upon 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you and um, via email, that is, and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed. So that being said, uh, enjoy the show. Uh, I hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go, your star sign. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Sagittarius Monte Tarot reading for uh, the month of July, Sagittarius Sun, Moon and as well Rising. And uh, in this video guys, I'm going to um, use my go-to spread, it's a four card spread and as well, what I'm going to do, I don't know if I have done it in front of camera before, but um, I, will I will determine a time frame with, uh, within which um, whatever you initiate or start throughout the month of July, when possibly is going to unfold and and uh, and manifest. So let me shuffle the cards in really good way. What I mean, it's a uh, refill. Oops. Okay, and uh, let's see what you got. Right, so uh, the first couple of ones, the first one for you Sagittarius is going to be uh, the Eight of Cups followed by um, the Death card. Moving next we do have the Hierophant and the last one that uh, is going to take place, this is going to be the Judgment. Now that's uh, that's quite important. Uh, we do have first of all three out of four major arcana so it does look like that this is going to be rather a, a, a month of foundations especially seeing the Judgment at the end. It means that the actions and um, mainly the way how you finalize or wrap up the, or wrap around the month 
I will play a, a major, major, major role into, uh, into your future. So let's see uh, for what kind of a future we're talking about. We're talking about for the future up until the first week of July next year. So that is a um, approximately, well, entirely a, a one year period of time. So, um, what that reading is all about then, uh, first of all, let's uh, let's look at the cards one more time before I put them here in front of my desk and uh, scrutinize the reading. So we do have once again the Eight of Cups, the Death card, the uh, Hierophant and the last one here is going to be Judgment. So the interaction in between uh, the Eight of Cups and the Death card as they stand in term of, uh, in term of those positions it does point that uh, there there is at that particular standpoint in term of career or in term of relationship there is no reason to back up or to give away to to give up on the things that you normally are fighting for yeah i mean uh, the the situation that you may finding yourself at that particular stage in entering at the month of july it may be to say the least disappointing right uh, uh, what I mean is that you may uh, uh, lack opportunities for uh, the job that you like to do or you may like uh, you may lack and an opportunities for the type of people that you do like to get involved yourself with right but that doesn't mean that you are going to forever like th la lack those opportunities and for that reason it will be such a, a waste of a personal criteria if you will uh, if you align yourself with the mainstream rather than to keep up with your own uh, with your own personal beliefs which we can see here into the third position of the spread that stands as the Hierophant card but we're gonna dive into this card uh, a bit deeper uh, moving forward with the reading so pretty much what the first couple of cards here as the position stands says it is that yeah I mean the, the the current situation may be a bit unfortunate regarding your standards and regarding you know the things that you're chasing out right now but that is not going to be always the case and now that I think of uh, back in the days when I was working a full-time job what I mean I was an, an engineer by that time and I was working for a really nice company uh, we were making a metal displays and uh, it was right when uh, 2008 when the crisis hit okay and uh, one month the first month when the crisis the uh, the bank crisis hit it was completely arid I mean there were no purchase orders whatsoever and the owner of the company said well I am not uh, rather you know uh, how, how did the how did he put it into words um, I'm not worried, he said, because this isn't going to be always like that, you know, and it all comes to that, can we endure until the things get better? And it all comes to that for you here uh, throughout this month to lay down the foundation or to under to wrap your mind around the idea that things are not going to be like that forever and you don't have to change a thing about yourself or a thing about the, uh, the the goals that you are chasing moving forward into the future in fact um uh, the uh, uh the clear fact that we do have the death card into the second position it's a clear sign that things are not over yet i mean with uh, with your relationship life for example so if you if you are wondering because that's a very common question uh, in among the audience, am I gonna ever find love again? And you are Sagittarius, you listen to that reading. Oh, definitely. I mean, you're going to find, and, and judging by the other cards here, uh, it will be one hell of a ride, okay? So you're, you're gonna pretty much enjoy like it, and probably you're gonna be grateful for that previous relationships did not work out for you, so you had the privilege, oh my god, the privilege to end up with that future a relationship that it is in front of you um, <clears throat> so from there just uh, let me um, gain control of my camera uh, so from there we are moving to the next card that stands for the hierophant and here that card really describes how you should take on things and uh, it, it may seem easier said than done truly because with the hierophant sitting there on the third position 
uh, it does peak, the, there is a hierarchy that needs to be climbed up un uh, until you do reach that point of, um, of prevailing, okay? Uh, that being said, um, should you, for example, are looking for a specific type of job that you do want to start working at, say you have just finalized your education and now you want to work a good job, you know, because what, what on earth... Uh, you have uh, studied so much time for beforehand if it is not for you to work a, a good job and that's kind of true look at it from one perspective but yet you gotta start from somewhere uh, and that education that you do have only gives you the key for the doors that are yet to be presented in, oh my god presented in front of you to open so that being said, the Hierophant is a very tricky card because it, interpret, it is interpreted in different ways in terms of career and in terms of relationship. I do explain that into my classes. But I, I will say it that way, as it stands into this, um, into this position, the Hierophant points that should you start a job if you are jobless in case. Uh, any job is going to give you the pleasure because the pleasure from the uh, because the uh, the awareness of productivity with the hierophant it comes from getting the job done rather than the benefits after the job it, uh, gets done and also the appreciation as you get the job done rather than the monetary um, rewards that will come with the job. So with the Hierophant in this position, it's like you are doing the job for the sake of the job, the money finds you on their own accord. Uh, and that is pretty much valid for a an ongoing career as well. So if you are working, you wanna be successful uh, for the next year in terms of, uh, term of your career, and by the start of July next year, you're really gonna find yourself in a, a much better position. You gotta do the things for the sake of doing them. I mean, no matter what, you gotta give everything from yourself so you show yourself reliable you show yourself trustworthy and so on and so forth and the money and the positions and as well the appreciation is going to find you on their own accord now if we're talking however about a relationships here with the hierophant there is a, a pretty uh, a more profound uh, understanding in terms of uh, philosophical explanation because the hierophant again it touches the subject of mutual reliability, faithfulness, and uh, trust. Now, to have those three, which are the holy trinity of a long-term relationship, okay, uh, you don't have to be madly in love with somebody. So that's, that's pretty much what you are, uh, if you don't, if you have no awareness over it right now, probably the month of July it is exactly what is going to give you in terms of a relationship should you, look, should you are looking for a love. And you will understand here throughout the month of July, that there is no uh, relevance whatsoever how much you do love somebody if you don't have trust into that person because you can love them uh, or love him or her as much as you like to um, but if you don't have trust in them you can never be in a long-term relationship even if you do end up in a relationship there will, it's not going to be a happy one because you are always going to be with your nerves scrub, scribed down uh, being inconvinced that that person is cheating on you or not, right? So that's uh, that's one thing that the uh, that's pretty much all that there is to it with uh, the higher from there into the third position. So you're gonna learn to stick with the um, how can I say uh, with the core supplements, if you will, of what making the things work and ticking, and you're gonna leave you know the um, the shell on it to happen on its own accord. And so what happens there at the end, it is uh, the judgment which is going to reside within the uh, within the cycle itself. It is where you, uh, Sagittarius, are gonna find a way how to do it, okay? So what we do have here, it is that you do realize that things are not gonna be like that, you know, in a uh, <clears throat> dissatisfiable state Always, you know, you're going to identify the true criteria and with the judgment, you're going to uh, find a way how to incorporate or uh, like achieve those criteria moving forward into the future. And though that unfoldment, those achievements are going to carry on from now up until the start of July uh, next year. 
So, uh, I, and when that's the whole process is completed, you can expect that your life in general is going to feel like complete because with the judgment, it is like the pieces of the puzzle fall exactly where they belong to, other places where they belong to. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.